I think the thing that was playing on my mind was I was kind of sensing from them that they quite wasn't as comfortable doing that as I was. That was kind of the vibe that I got. I, I just relaxed and looked at his face and he kept frowning and I thought he was nervous but perhaps he was trying to intimidate me, I don't know. I thought you looked worried at, from, at times. I wondered what most worries you in life. Um, I wasn't worried at all, no. um, but it's a good observation. What worries me in life, I suppose, is um, the thought of not being successful. That's what worries me in life. He was much nicer when he started talking and when uh, his face really relaxed when it was over and we were talking and he looked a much nicer, kinder person. Uh, when I was just staring at him, he looked a bit hard, I thought. I believe that I am quite successful oh. and I, I hope to become even more successful. And the only thing that probably um, that would worry me is the, the, the thought of not being able to, to continue that. Okay, so based on your life experiences, what do you feel when you look at someone like me? Um, I don't think I'd base, seeing someone for the first time, I don't think it would have anything to do with anything that had happened in the past. I think I would just look at everyone and, you know, for what they are. I just thought how beautiful you were. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And it's just, you look so healthy, so fit. Uh, <laughs> I noticed that um, she was almost, I don't want to sound arrogant, but kind of almost in awe of me a little bit. And I kind of sensed that from her as well. No, so what, what I was kind of getting at is... What experiences had I had with coloured people? Is that Not what necessarily, no. See, it wasn't about colour. Um, no. I'm glad you've said that, though, because I wanted... Well, that's the most obvious Yeah, thing. it is. Yeah. And the reason why I asked that question is because yeah. I wanted to see if almost you would take the bait. Um, and, and bring colour into it. Now, um, that's not a bad thing, by the way, that's fine. Yeah. Um, what I'm kind of getting at is, I, I'm, I'm of the belief that we, when we see people, when we meet people, so until we have any kind of interaction with them, we automatically have an idea or a preconception of how they may be. Yeah. Um, and it's only when we have an engagement or interaction with them, we kind of, that's challenge. That's, yeah. what, that's what my belief is. <laughs> so, um, but I've, yeah, that's, that's really interesting. Well, you know, there isn't another person like him, is there? We're all unique and individual. And I just thought, how nice to sit opposite a beautiful face. I wanted to look more at his hands and his body because I thought, is he a boxer or a bodybuilder? People's first impressions of me um, are often a million miles from the person I actually am. Ultimately, when people look at people, one of the very first things they see is the colour of somebody's skin. Um, I don't think that's a bad thing, um, and I, I don't feel offended by that personally. It's difficult, isn't it? We all labour under certain disadvantages. Like, I'm old now, so therefore people don't like me because I'm old. Have a little hug. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Take care. Okay. If you'd asked me for a date, now that would have been all right, wouldn't it? <laughs> 